like a bowl. What's going on, man? Attracting someone that is an introvert with an with probably an avoided attachment. What did you do? What did I do? Um, basically, it was a false start. Like we had it really fast and intense for eleven weeks, and then everything went well. And then he just called it off. He just called it off. And what do you mean everything went well? We had no problems. There were no arguments. Like, and we had like our first, our first, what weekend trip to see to the mountains, and then after that, it just went down. And so, who's okay? And who suggested the weekend trip? Um, I don't. Might have been me. It was you? Okay, nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong yeah. with that. Um, and and, and uh, so you suggested a weekend trip. And after the trip, did you message him? Did you say, baby, it was a great time. Let's see each other tomorrow. Like, what happened no, after the trip? Not at, all. not at all. So basically for 11 weeks, we were hanging out like maybe half of, half of every week. You know, and, and he set the pace. And then after the trip, I was like, okay, so when are we going to meet again? And then he was like, maybe the following weekend, which was longer because... We are, we've been meeting like three or four times a week. Yeah. I mean, look. So that's what I thought I thought. A way to, when someone's avoidant, the way to deal with them is to give an avoidant more space than necessary. Honestly. If you feel like, if you feel like a guy is an avoidant, you got to give them a lot more space than necessary. In fact, avoiding guys is better to let them initiate all the contact. Like, it's better to initiate all the contact. Right? That's, how, that's the best way to deal with me, to be honest with you. Because I'm, I'm, I'm that kind of person. Right? And what you should have done is after after you seen him after you seen him after the vacation, you should you should have just created. Anytime you create, anytime you have a lot of time together, you gotta go in the yeah. equal opposite direction, and require more space. Simple as that. Because sometimes guys get a little tired of the women. I remember when this girl that I dated many years ago, when she came over for two weeks, it was fucking annoying, man. Like after after like the second day, I'm like, yo, this bitch just needs to go back home, man. So I'm like she's she's with me and she and she was hot as shit. Don't get me wrong, she was she was she was she was a bad girl. But I got tired of her. So after when she left, I was like, thank God, it felt like a burden coming out of my back. And for like two weeks, I didn't want to speak to her. For two weeks, I wasn't yeah. I wasn't talking to her, right? But then after, uh -huh. I, so you know you know what got me to get back with her is that I started noticing that there was another dude commenting on her photos often, right? So what you do is that you just keep your distance. Right. If he asks you what you're doing, just say not much. I just came we, back. We broke up. Whoa! What we're happened? We broke up. What happened? Yeah. So, so that's why I say like after the weekend, you know, he just started fading. He just started fading out. And then after that, we met to we met to talk about it. And then he said like I like you, but I don't like you in that way anymore. So yeah. That's when I started reading up on like you know the avoid the avoided and the anxious so all different types of attachment theories. Yeah, but and sometimes I'll be honest with you. Sometimes sometimes people are avoiding to people who are you know it's funny you know something funny about avoiding guys is that avoiding guys will will not be emotionally intimate with people who are emotionally open to them, but they'll open up emotionally to people who don't want them. Like like to people who. Yeah, to pe like like you think he's like that, but if you were the one that rejected him, he'll be the one that will be more open emotionally. You can't be that person no more. You can't. Yeah. You, you really can't. But what I'm trying to say is that avoidance are open to people who don't want them, like who reject them, who hurt their ego. As soon as they feel like you want them, it gets awkward in their in their feelings, and they sort of like close off. That's why with those kind of guys, man, you should you you got to give them more space than necessary. Every guy you should give them more space than necessary as yeah. a precaution. That, that don't mean that you don't go out with them on a date. That don't mean that you don't respond. That don't mean that you don't say yes. What I mean is that yeah. let them show you how much they like you. It, it doesn't mean that you cancel on them. Just yeah. let them do the work. You know, like, like, like yeah. you, 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 you're going to go out, but let them do it. You know what I'm saying? Until they prove yeah. themselves by consistency. And then after that, after you noticing that they prove them themselves, pull away. Say no to the next day. Be busy for the next two yeah. weeks. 
you know and then yeah, you could so yeah hard. exactly but then after yeah. after that then you could start initiating you start initiating after you create the need but then, uh -huh. but before that let them prove themselves by letting them initiate and you saying yes to go out with them and then pull away say no say you're busy and then ask them out then you could start that, that okay. kind of dynamic but you first have to increase <laughs> what sorry yeah i was gonna say so with this with this particular guy is that is like how, how would you say i go about reattracting him don't even try to reattract him just forget about him he'll come back but but the key is, is that when he comes back how can i say is when he comes back you're gonna have to be the one that's cold i mean you're gonna have to be the one that's a little bit more busy because what's gonna happen is that you're gonna be so excited that he hit you up that you might say fuck what Alexis said let me just go out with him you know so you're gonna have to you know be more disciplined and let him do and if, if he comes back it's not over yet I mean he has to like you can't you can have to say hey man this is not how I do things you know you got to put up some resistance you can't just take it oh, back yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, so I'm learning so much after this breakup because I wasn't dating for a long time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Yeah. And look, you say you wasn't dating for a long time. Sometimes when you don't date for a long time, you get attached to the first person you meet, you know? Yes. So you got to... Yeah. Girl, you got to try, you know, go, go, go try some more dick. You know, find somebody else. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a few guys as well now, but I'm just, you know, wanting to... So what I learned was that, like, the guys that I like, the guys that I like, I can't sustain. But then the guys that I don't like... You will you know, now. Stick to me. Listen to me. You will now. You just got to do what the vid, what my videos say. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, honestly, it's that, it, nothing's different yeah. from... You, you're the same person when you like the guy and you don't like the guy. But for some reason, when you like the guy, they don't like you. When you don't like the guy, they like you. Clearly, it's in your behavior. And the things that I teach yeah. are pretty much what I teach is that. How to reverse that process. Yeah. That's all I teach. You know? Because if you yeah. really think about it, how do you, if you actually try to make a guy, tell me something, well, what would you do to make a guy turned off? If you wanted a guy to not like you, what would you do? I would not put him on a pedestal and give him that much attention. What? If I, if I, if I, if I, if I want a guy to chase me, did you say? No, if you want a guy to not like you, to get turned off by you, what would you do? Like me? Huh? Oh, to be needy and talk about babies and getting married. And what do you do when you like the guy? What do I do when I like the guy? Ignore him. Not ignore him, but like, yeah, the, the, the foot and pull. No, when you, when you like the guy, that's a, you do that almost in the, in, with less intensity. In other words, when you like the guy, you actually do what you just told me without the exaggeration. You know, you give him that look, the little psycho look, you know? The, the, you, you, you say, oh, we should do this tomorrow and then do that and then do that. And it's almost like the same shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, mm -hmm. so you, you just, you, just look at the way you text him and how you text other guys. It'll show you that. It's all in your behavior, and your behavior is dictated by how you feel, you know? So it's kind of like, you want to just do what the videos say, even even if your yeah. emotions say don't do it. Just just have blind faith, and just do it, and you'll yeah. see what happens. Just not on this guy. Find somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have seen other guys as well. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you one more question? Yeah, what's, one. Mm -hmm, what's up? So... I noticed that I prefer introverted guys just because the energy level is lower and kind of matches mine. Yeah. But I tend to attract more extroverted guys. So how do I attract like an introvert? Are you quiet also? Quiet, like, like, it's hard for me to imagine spending a whole day with one guy. Yeah, if you're, if you're an introvert, you attract extroverts. This is how it works. You know, you attract the opposite. So and I would like to attract an introvert. Then go. Where do, okay, where are you meeting the guys? Oh, all those dating apps. Exactly. Go go to a fucking in a, a fucking nerdicon or a, a comic book reunion or <laughs> honestly, like go find the nerds. You want to get yourself a nice med. Go to a meditation class. Go to a yoga class. They're all introverts. Those guys. They're all you know. 
Like, don't be going, like, go even, you know, just go to places where introvert guys are. Simple as that. Go to the Virgin community, the, the Virgin exhibition. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you know, you. you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, like, go to where they go. <laughs> but thanks so much. I know I'm taking a lot of your time in, yeah? All right. Okay, Thank you be you. safe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. All right, ladies. So finally, I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five-week course. Five-week course where every week you're going to get a new set of videos based on, based on specific issues. The, this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love this will help you deepen the love with your man this is not about manipulation this is not about playing games this is genuine genuine natural chemistry no more short-term partners no more being fooled why because i will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week but also how to understand male nature how to understand their tricks how to prevent from being a too attached signs that he's the wrong guy signs that he's a narcissist signs that he's a mama's boy signs that he's an emotionally available guy emotionally unavailable guy we go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord, have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature where over four hours of content, right? The transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar and the chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah. For all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you free videos all right so you could just check it out for free and then you could get out nothing wrong with that all right so and on top of that it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee no questions asked that's right no questions asked i don't mind i just want you guys to check it out because i know when you take one look you're gonna want to buy it i could promise you just like my other course um the psychological the psychological game of attraction it was a hit you're gonna love this one this one is not about manipulation this is genuine natural chemistry order it now all right i'll see you guys inside peace out